So, I've been putting together this short film called Scooty, and there's this ridiculous scene where one of the characters has to hang on to the side of a plane. We got some green screen footage, but I wanted to supplement that with some crazy angles of the character being whipped around as the Cessna soars through the air. I decided to use Unreal Engine 5 to go about doing this. It has some crazy powerful systems that add a whole new dimension to creating visual effects. If I were to do this in a traditional 3D software, I'd have to animate all the little parts of the scene individually. The plane's trajectory, all the little flaps and things, all of the character's limbs. It's possible, but it's also a lot of work. And the insane thing about using Unreal is that I can set up a system to do all of that automatically. I'm gonna bring my plane 3D model into Unreal and use the visual scripting system to let me control the plane with an Xbox controller. The node-based coding in Unreal is actually very approachable, and I've been able to get the hang of it over the course of just a few months. Now I can fly around, but I need something to fly around. So I went and bought myself a 20 million polygon model of San Francisco. This thing is an absolute chungus. There's no way this can render in real time, right? Wrong. With Nanite, which is a new system in Unreal Engine 5, you can render an insane amount of geometry at once. Then add in Lumen, the new real-time global illumination system, and you got yourself a sexy looking city to fly through. Now we just need a dude dangling off the side. So I brought in a dangling animation of our dude and stuck that right on the side of the plane. But that's not gonna work, we want him to be flippy floppy. Simulate physics, sweet. But now he's just ragtalling, which is, it's kinda sad. He should be fighting it a little bit, right? Well, I recently discovered another super sweet system in Unreal called Physical Animation. This allows you to mix ragdoll physics with traditional animations. And it's not just averaging between them. You can actually specify the strength of each joint to dial in how floppy or strong your character will be. It's pretty sweet. Now that all of that's finished, all I need to do is sit back, grab my Xbox controller, and fly around town. Mm.